Um, Back to we're it. We're doing a list. I'm gonna do top rarest, most expensive electric guitars. No, I'm gonna say just top rarest. Top rarest, okay. And, like, and, like, and we're gonna, we, we always do top 10 lists. Let's just do a top nine list today. Uh, I think that'd be more crazy. fun. Crazy. Um, but now we're not, we're, we're excluding rock star guitars. We're, um, we're just really focusing on like just normal guitars. It might have been owned by somebody, but not like. So no value from like, oh, this was, you know, Slash's guitar. Not just the rarest. Just, okay. Of like, the electric, of like, and All there right. are obviously like, you go down this little weird like rabbit's hole of like, well, there's just one guitar that's not really popular that only one boutique maker made. We're not getting into that as much. Yeah. These are more the mainstreams, but let's get right into it. So we're gonna start like kind of with number nine, um, the 1959 Gibson Les Paul Standard. Now this is one of the most famous guitars. I would say that's true. In the guitar world, yes. as far as what we all know of is like the holy grail of trying to collect. Yeah. They, they go for an average price of around a quarter million dollars. No big deal. Average price, how many? They made 1,700 of these, I believe. Um, and these are all built in 1959. These are the, the infamous bursts that mm. we all seek after now. Gibson Custom Shop Burst is I mean, anywhere on the used market from 5K to up, you know, if you get a Murphy Lab, you can get like the top of the, the beast. It's gonna be, you know, 10, 12K for that yeah. alone. Um, and then you see some of the, like the, the the ones that are for like signature artists are even higher. So we're gonna put that as our, our first one there. So we're gonna continue on. It's a good way to open up. It's a good one. 1951 Fender Nocaster. That's another rare bird. Pretty rare. It's, it's pretty rare. Like, so how many of those did they make you think? I think it was less than 500, wasn't it? 475. God, is that all? 475 to be exact. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's huh. nuts, right? That, I mean, that's not a lot of guitars when you think about it. No, it's, um, if you have one of those, it's, it's pretty special. I really There's, wish I wouldn't have smashed that one we had now. Oh. <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> we have smashed a few guitars lately. We've been going out back and smashing guitars because there's like broken pieces that we can't fix that are unsalvageable. Like, well, they're salvageable if you put a lot of time and effort into it. We just don't have yeah. that. But anyway, so the, yeah, the um, the no casters that built in '51 again. They're sort of averaging out. Like this is average. There's some gone more, some gone a lot less. But two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars for some of these things. Pretty a good. A lot of money for a freaking for a bolt hole neck. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> I know it's nuts. Can you believe it? Um, number seven, 1959 Gibson Flying V. Ooh. Now I'm, I'm I'm getting a theme here. A lot of 50s, a lot that, of 59s. That's right. Now Flying V, like who, who's our favorite Flying V players? If we had to take a stab, I, I don't know. Who's your favorite Flying V player? You know, it might be one of those Alberts. Probably. Um, but they, they only they made less than 100 of these. I think there were 98 of these made, and these all are. <laughs> I mean, the average price is right around two hundred thousand dollars, but they're going for more than that. Now, that was sort of a, a cost average with some of these low ones that were not in great shape. These are expensive guitars, and there's just not many of them. So, if you have a Flying V under your, your under your closet, under your under bed, you, under your closet, under your closet, I'm super under the closet, in the closet, under the bed. Maybe you know how much it's worth. Maybe you have a bunker under your closet. Maybe I mean, like Panic Room with Jodie Foster. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jodie Foster was was Jared Leto in that movie? I have no idea. Okay, sorry, just just a moment I'm having there. <laughs> okay, this is an odd one. Number six, 1949, Big Spee, Bird's Eye Maple Solid Body. Can you cool. see these? I, yes, I could not have thought of it, but now that I see the picture, yes, it's, I've seen them. It's funny, because Martin just did, a, like, I think it was two years ago, they, at NAMM, they, have, they had the Big Spee acoustic, right. where they had the headstock, yep. and I was like, yep. oh, the horror. They only made 23 of these. These are valued, if you have one of these, they're not, as good as a 59 Les Paul, but they sort of average out the same price, which is sort of nuts, right? But um, it's a cool guitar. It is cool. When you think about it, that's 10 years earlier. You yeah, might see some headstock inspiration that it, that for is, maybe a company that came later. I don't know who you're talking about. I, I know. It's, um, Hopefully there's going to be a picture of this. Well, yeah, there's, there's pictures. <laughs> okay, number 19, 1958. Now, again, it's all the late 50s, it seems. I'm not late 40s, but um, number five, the 1958 Gibson Explorer. <sighs> they made less than 20 of these. That's less nuts. than 20. That is nuts. That is nuts. And this, it's just, it's, um, these things are valued at averaging over half a million dollars now. 600,000 is your average on some of these pieces. It's, it's, it's it's nuts. It's um 19 made. That's crazy. 
Yeah, they made some in 63 as well, but they were like sort of leftover parts, I believe, right. from the 58. And the, um, this is a very cool guitar. Now, they're obviously Gibson's making these now, and they're fun to play. They're weird to play, right? They are weird to play. Like, I, I have a problem playing them because it just confuses me. It just is an odd feeling, yes. It just, the, the whole, everything feels off of the scale length, even though it's not. It's just the body, the way it's. I often feel that way on the strangely shaped Gibson guitars. I, it, it messes me up a bit. But hey, they're still cool. This this one was fun. Num, num, number four is the um, 1959 Les Paul Standard. Left-handed. 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 They only made two of these. That's it. So if you have one, it's a pretty rare bird. Now, I was getting cost averages for this, and like right around $200,000. These are worth a lot more than that now. That is not, that is not the real number. Because there's only two of them. I didn't even know you could be left-handed in 1959. Thought you like tied your hand behind your bag, did that thing. It's like um, it's like when they bind your feet or something. I think it's so much of that. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. It's um. No, yeah, it's. It is. It's, they were obviously custom orders. Yes. Uh, this is not part of the production, which is funny, that nobody thought about this like, this entire market out there of lefties. Of lefties. And they still don't allow the manufacturers. So listen up, manufacturers make. Or, or maybe make less because they'll be worth more down the road. Hey, let's continue on. Oh, here's one of my favorites. 1964 comes in. Now you're like, what, Strat? No. Number three, 1964 Vox V2251. V250. Okay, 25 one numbers. Is what I was say. Just numbers. V25. <laughs> just the numbers. Uh, um, this, is the, this is the guitar organ prototype. Um, they made two of these. <laughs> This did not take off like a spaceship. It's, I just I can't understand it. But it's this huge collector's piece now. It kind of sunk like a Led Zeppelin. Um, mm. But they, they that was my my it's pun. Good. Get it's it? good. It's very. That's how they got the name yeah. of the band. They're like oh, we're gonna sink like a Led Zeppelin. I remember reading that in a book somewhere, and I just stuck by it. It could be wrong. I read the same thing. I, was, did. I really I think I read I think like it's true. It was like a Led Zeppelin like unauthorized right. biography that I read as a as a young teenager. And I was like, I, I want to be Jimmy Page when I grow up. Yes. He did lots of bad things in that book. I wanted to be Jimmy Page. I, I did not become Jimmy Page. But he's made it through. He's made it through. He's made it through this whole world. He's weathered it. Weathered the storm. Yeah. He's, he's living a pretty good life right now, too. I'd I say. He's living, he's living the best of it. Pretty, pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. Um, so these are, these are averaging out around $300,000 as well, which is insane for a really weird, squirrely guitar. I don't know who owns these two right A guitar now. organ. Guitar, it's it's cool. It's like an effects pedal and a guitar and an organ all built into one. Yeah. They're funny looking. They are funny looking. Um, it's, it's not the Vox tear, teardrop. It's the different shape. But um, let's go <laughs> into number two. Now this is a fun one because I've, I've this is the this is the 1969 1970 Gibson Les Paul prototype recording model. Now it's not to be confused with the recording model which I've played a few of. Yeah. Which is really have you played any of those before? I have actually. Played one. They're rather underwhelming. <laughs> yes, it's a good way to put it. The, um, this is a one of one though, made for Sir Les Paul himself. Yes. So it, it kind of goes into one of the rare birds there. There's um there's not another. This is the prototype one that his estate had. This this sold for a little bit under two hundred thousand dollars when it sold last. I'm not sure where it is at this moment, but pretty flipping rare. Now it's got pretty all rare. the the doodads and different plug-in options and switching. I thought it'd go for slightly more than that. It surprises me a little bit. The, um, the next one would. Let's, uh, let's, go, let's finish it up here. I just want to pull this picture so we have a, a visual reference. Nope. The 1954, again, Gibson's pulling them all in. The original Gibson Les Paul custom Black Beauty. Now this kind of has all the bells and whistles. Again, one of one. This sold for $343,750. There you um, go. Total, when it, when it did sell last, it's, I, th I feel like this is worth astronomically more, more than, than that, that now. Yeah, of course. It's, it's a phenomenal guitar. It's, it's a beast. It's the original Black Beauty. I mean, it's the Black Beauty. It's the Black Beauty. They wrote a book about horses based on this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <sighs> Let that one settle for a minute. Um, but that's kind of, that's the, I just want to run through like the list of like, this is what we found is the rare. So we, we looked at lots of other lists like, and we can, that's it. I mean, it's crazy. It's how there's only one of those. There's only there, one. There's only there's only a. F and then when we go up to the Les Paul standard, everybody thinks that's like the 59. That's the rarest. It's like nah. 
it, it's I mean, it is very rare. rare compared to like you know what Fender was putting out at the time, and probably the one on the list I'd like to have. <laughs> to you don't pick. want the organ guitar? It's a close second. That's the one Sean would like to have. Nick and Nick. He would have because he I has feel like, like Sean built a weird. He didn't build strange. He, he didn't build it. He, he just found a, it like teardrop and add, added strange things to it. I think he added strings to it. Well, <laughs> But yeah, Sean's always putting like, oh, let's put these five pedals in the you top do, of my I guitar. do like when he does that. Yeah. But let us know if there's some that we missed, because there, there definitely are um, some odd ones out there. I just thought that'd be fun to kind of go through those right there. You know, we had, we had fun talking with you this morning. We did have fun talking to you. You know, I like guitars. I like these rare ones. I, I got excited fun. going through this list. And we stayed strangely on topic for the whole list. I was trying to focus on topic. You did I, a good job. I, if I took medications, I would pretend like I took my medications this morning. But I didn't. Because I'm off. But that's it. I'm out. <laughs> Hit like and subscribe if you have not already. Click that bell so you don't miss videos in the future. As always, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.